The fourth episode of The Last of Us is out. This episode focuses more on Joel and Ellie than the past three episodes. We get a few new characters whose intentions the audience doesn't really know yet. But is the show back to true form? Or has the controversy only increased? If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on all new reviews I put out weekly here at Off The Cover. And without further ado, on to the video. Episode 4 of HBO's The Last of Us grants Joel and Ellie valuable bonding time that they've rarely been able to find time for so far in the series. Although, I appreciated more interaction between the two, I didn't feel there was much chemistry between the two actors. Bella Ramsey continues to be as exciting as a plank of wood. Pedro Pascal, to his credit, is doing his utmost best with what he's given. I've grown to really like Pascal as Joel. Pascal's got to a point that is rare for most actors. The point where the audience stops seeing Pascal and starts to see Joel. For example, I can't see Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight. I only see the Joker. This is a very difficult moment to arrive at for actors, and I like that it happened for Pascal. Joel talking Ellie through her first kill made me feel like Joel is the more emotional of the two. The Last of Us TV show seems to be falling into the same tropes as other shows and movies, making Ellie more confident than she has any right to be, the classic Mary Sue trope. Thankfully, it's not as pronounced as in other stories as of late. In this episode, we get a scene where Joel teaches Ellie how to hold, aim, and shoot a pistol, and to my surprise, no wisecracks from the younger, more inexperienced character this time. This is much appreciated. On the bright side, the emotional stakes are raised by the openness between the two characters. It's a comparatively slower-paced episode, however not lacking stark violence. Joel's refusal to initially let emotion and attachment grow is understandable, given what he's gone through. His flashes of darkness are offset by a more jovial turn from Ellie when she takes out her pun-packed joke book, which gives the audience moments of welcome humor and levity. These moments continue to lift the unshakable shadow that much of the world of The Last of Us casts, to good effect, ensuring events never fall into abject depression. Such control over the emotional tone of the show does not go unnoticed. The pair's road trip also serves as a perfect opportunity to once again praise just how good the show's aesthetics appear. Views of a long-forgotten society are depicted quite often in a parade of abandoned bridges, boats, and even a roller coaster that flank the ghostly empty roads that guide Joel, Ellie, and the audience to the next destination. The mellow opening act quickly spirals out of control as they enter Kansas City, when the duo are suddenly and violently ambushed. This thrilling sequence conjures memories of ambushes seen in many other films with fantastic camera work and direction all around. This isn't glamorous Hollywood action, but instead rough around the edges, reflecting the self-taught skills you'd expect from people just trying to survive in a bleak and uncertain landscape. This is the first episode where we see the real enemy of the game, people. As Joel alluded to in the last few episodes, people are even more dangerous than the infected. Here is where we're introduced to Kathleen, the leader of the Kansas City Raiders, played by Melanie Linsky. It's hard to take Kathleen seriously since Linsky's voice is so childlike and mousy. No, I don't think you'll shoot the guy, Pipsqueak. Oh, oh, she actually did. Look at that, subverting my expectations again. I would have preferred a much stronger type of actress to fill this role. Let's see who fits the bill and needs work. Oh yeah, Linda Hamilton. She was a force to be reckoned with in the Terminator franchise and would have made a much better Kathleen. This leads me to think about the show's casting choices. Kathleen is merely the second character who's been pretty miscast, but for me, Ellie takes the cake. Bella Ramsey just doesn't seem to jive with the show or the rest of the cast. Her performance just falls flat. Even as the tension ratchets up during and after the ambush, Ramsey seems to fail to connect with what's going on on screen. I don't know, I'm not sold on her just yet. Although, Ellie shooting Brian in the back and paralyzing him was totally boss. Overall, it seems to me like episode 4 aims to return the series back to form. 
to be honest, I like the last episode more. Just because of the controversy. This episode was kind of flat, but needed, for the overall progression of the series. It followed the game. I even found that the ambush was much better portrayed in the show than in the game, actually. Fans of the game know where the story is going, but for those of you who haven't played the game, you're in for a treat with the introduction of Sam and Henry in the next episode. I'll keep watching because this story is great so far. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more great content.